From Fox 8, this is Breaking News. Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Meg Gatto. We are covering breaking news tonight as Jefferson Parish Coroner Jerry Satanovich steps in to fill the void left after St. Tammany's new coroner did away with the sexual assault nurse examiner program. Rob Masson has more in the agreement between Satanovich and St. Tammany Coroner Christopher Tate. And Lee and Meg, under this new agreement, Jefferson Parish's coroner will administer a sexual assault nurse program that will continue to cover Jefferson while adding St. Tammany as well as four other North Shore parishes. It has now been five weeks since Dr. Chris Christopher Tape took office and did away with a sexual assault nurse program, which he said the parish could no longer afford, blaming shaky finances. While St. Tammany voters now collect signatures on a recall petition against Dr. Tape, Dr. Jerry Satanovich in Jefferson Parish, who heads up the state coroner's office, got to work on a deal to make sure that victims of sexual assault on the North Shore would continue to be treated by specially trained sexual assault nurses after they were victimized. Dr. Satanovich says he is now able to administer the program with no additional cost to Jefferson Parish taxpayers. It's a win for everybody except perpetrators of, of, of sexual assault because you know, we continue to uh, have high quality services that we provide, but by pooling resources, we're going to be able to actually decrease the cost to my parish. That's the you way know, for me, remember, I'm elected in Jefferson Parish. That's my primary goal. And if I can continue to provide services in Jefferson, but decrease how much we have to pay for those services, it's a, it's a great thing. It's a win all the way around. And as part of the new deal, Satanovich says he has rehired two sexual assault nurses who administered the program on the North Shore prior to Dr. Tapes taking office. For his part, Tammany Coroner Christopher Tapes said in a statement he's pleased with this new deal and he says his office is committed to doing its part while responsibly overseeing the funds which taxpayers entrust to his office. The new agreement goes into effect May 20th. Meg? Thank you, Rob. The